fashion, let's say, in that, in that I, I always want, I, I sort of believe in my heart of hearts that you can make bigger emotional impacts on listeners if you plan it musically as opposed to you set up events or you prepare things and then let them happen. Um, and I mean, I, th I also believe that human beings can listen to anything, and if they listen to it enough times, they will begin to build the associations, even it's, if it's the sound of dirt, you know, falling on a, you know, I, if it's just totally random, insects, whatever. But if you listen to it enough times, you'll begin to hear patterns, and you'll, your brain will make the associations that were never there. That's what humans do, you know. But my preference always is to sort of hear it in my head and guide what's going on, to plan, which is, it's more old fashioned in that I'm looking for these dramatic kinds of builds and decrescendos and things emptying out, things getting sort of nostalgic, things getting very intense, um, which to me, you know, that's, that's Shostakovich, or that's, uh, you know, my favorite is William Schumann, a good New Yorker, <laughs> you know. Uh, I, I think that's extremely high art in my mind. If there's no beauty, then close your eyes. If there's no justice, just swallow lies. Be the children to the furnace. Be the poison in the The first time I ever heard this term RIO, it was in the 90s. And I read something that said, oh, thinking plague, RIO. And I said, what the hell's that? Uh, a town in uh, Brazil, right? Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, so, then I, so then I read more and I tried to figure out what they were talking about. And this rock in opposition, and there were no musical descriptors in it. So I said, they're, come, they're, make, they're, they're grouping us with with everything from uh, Samla to uh, St Stormy Six to, you know, whatever, plus Henry Cow. And I just thought, we don't really sound like any of that stuff. And why are they calling us that? And, and if you don't like Henry Cow, that doesn't mean you won't like us. I, I didn't like how, how it's, it's what you always dislike about categorization, taking a bunch of things that are different and these are similar enough to put into this box so that all the people that don't like one of those things in that box automatically don't like any of the things in those box. Uh, that's what I objected to. It, it, you know. But anyway, so yeah, I just stopped using that kind of stuff. It was later, if people asked me, I'd say, well, we were trying to combine you know, the 20th century harmonic sensibilities and stuff with rock band. Sometimes we use the term, well, progressive rock, but it didn't really, it didn't really have to. That's not really what, how I looked at it, although I was informed by that, and frankly, I admired a lot of the musicianship of that, you know. Uh, so I, I, when, I heard the word, when I heard the term avant progressive, I said, yeah, that's probably the most accurate I've heard, you know, whatever. <laughs> I still don't know what to call it, and I, and I don't much care, I guess. the mainstream music industry. I don't quite know what they do and how they do it, but when it comes to music that's that's more serious, that's more, got more depth to it, I don't know how anybody manages to make a living from recorded music. They say, oh, you gotta go out and play. Yeah, if you've got a wide enough appeal, I guess, and if enough people have heard you, I don't think going out and playing 
will make you very much money if they haven't heard recordings of you first, you know, and got to know it and like it. Um, <clears throat> so we're, we're in a kind of a weird impasse. Um, the, the ready availability of el music in electronic form has made it basically too easy to get and now it's not worth much. And people have gotten used to the idea of not paying much for it. I remember counting my pennies together until I had a couple of bucks so I could go buy a Beatles LP. And to me, that was a celebration. Oh, I got this record. It's like, you know, uh, uh, you know, and I would listen to it till there was no vinyl left on it kind of thing. Um, and now it's like, uh, you know, you have to wonder if there's something about people's psychology. If they pay something for it, do they value it more? You know, because they don't seem to value it much now, except for those few people who actually care about the sound that's coming into their ears and what it does to them emotionally and otherwise. Water.